Although I do have a very vivid imagination. Not that I've got a thing for dirty men. You sure? And get naked and roll around in mud if you like. <laughs> <laughs> We're stood right here. I know. Do you want brew? What's up? A witness has come forward. The hit and run, who? Don't know that or what they saw, but it's got to be promising. Is, uh, is Belle okay? She didn't come home last night. My bad, I went too far. At least Jamie hadn't had me arrested yet. Belle would never let that happen. Can't believe she stood by him yesterday. I don't blame her. I shouldn't have lost it. No, you shouldn't have. You could take away your livelihood and you've got a baby on the way now. That's Belle that needs a reality check. Maybe we should just let this thing with Jamie run its course and then Belle can learn from her mistakes. But she never learns from her mistakes. She's picked a wrong one again. Maybe I'm being daft, but... you don't think it could be her voices again, you know, steering her off course? No, she's got her meds for that. We need Belle here, where we can see her. I don't want Jamie manipulating her 24-7. I'm off to work in a bit. I'll, I'll talk to her. Good luck with that. She thinks she loves him. She's a dingle. She'll put family first. She'll be back here for tea time. You'll see. Just calm down, Mum, OK? It's only a wing mirror. And I called the dealership to book it in and the insurance are going to pay for it, so... Well, yeah, I could have had Nate arrested, but do I really want him talking to the police? No, there's no physical evidence, but... I mean, look, if both him and Belle came forward, it'd be their word against mine. Of course Belle's fully on board. Because she stood up to her family yesterday when they were kicking off and it really wasn't easy for her. I'm actually thinking of taking our relationship to the next level. And no, I do not want your input on that. I... Yeah, I've got to go. OK. Bye. You want to take our relationship to the next level? How? I was just explaining to Mum that... Knowing I can count on you, no matter what, it means the world, so... Sir? I was thinking maybe you could move in here with me, permanently. Wow. Are you sure? I mean, we work together every day. Is it not a bit soon? You haven't changed your mind since yesterday. No, of course not. Nate was out of order. Look, I love you, OK, and I want you here. But it has to be just you and me, above anyone else. Like, I, I won't part with Mum interfering, but are you willing to turn your back on your family? I love you too. And I will put us before anyone else if I have to. I'd love to move in. I can't say I'm looking forward to telling the family, though. <laughs> <laughs>